Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to be harvesting our honey from our bees. This is it. We're gonna bring you with us for the whole process, collecting it from the hive, right through to the processing of the actual honey, getting it out of the wax, getting it into our bottles. Now, I didn't have my camera with me or my tripod with me when I went out to harvest the honey from the actual hive. So luckily my wife, took a little bit of video while we're out there. So there's not quite as much of that as I might have liked to share with you, but I share the whole process once we get back in the house. So this, it really is how to extract honey without a honey extractor, without any equipment, without any machinery, using really, really simple methods and stuff you've probably got around the house. Frame out, full of honey. Very exciting times. I'm completely new to all this. I'm, I did a little bit of research. I'm half making it up as I go along. We don't have a honey extractor, so we're just doing it the old fashioned way. But all of these are just full of honey. So I'm very, very excited to be harvesting honey for the first time ever. So we're just cutting all of the honey and the wax out together. And the foundation's got these metal wires in. So for now, we're just, like I say, cutting out all of the, the wax and the honey together. And it's going everywhere. It wasn't going everywhere until I started filming, but now it's going everywhere. And every one of these frames has got this little metal wire running through it that helps to hold the, the wax in place while the bees get it started. And I'm getting honey everywhere, all over my hands. I suppose there are worse things you could get on your hands. Getting honey all over my knife. But I just need to get it all cut and get it in this pot. That's step one. Right. <laughs> We've got honey on the floor, on my watch, on my arm hair, my hands, the worktop. This knife is just a big honeyed mess. So we've got a lot of cleaning up to do, but mm. We've got a lot of honey as well. It actually cleans off your hands really easily without soap, which is great. So we've got this giant pot here. These two. And this. And this. So the next job is to separate the wax, the comb, from the honey. You can get a honey extractor. I don't have one. I couldn't justify the costs yet for just one hive. The thinking being, if you've only got one hive or two hives, you're only gonna want a, a really small extractor and you're only gonna use it for an hour a year and it takes up a lot of space between years. Then if you go on to have lots and lots of hives, which there's a reasonable chance I will do, then you're gonna find yourself in a position within a few years where that isn't even the right tool for the job anymore and you need something bigger. So I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do it this year using just traditional methods, which is just basically to crush all this up and strain it. So we might have to do this twice because there's so much of it. There's a bit too much in this pot really. So we might end up, like I say, doing it twice. But for now, we'll reduce the amount by a good 75 or 80%. We'll get almost all the honey by just giving it a mash like this. So this is what I'm going to decant the honey into, at least to start with. I'm just gonna put a colander across it there. Colander, cheesecloth, and then the, the honey and wax together. This is gonna to be tricky. Do 
and we've got all the doors and windows closed because the smell of this honey will attract bees and wasps. So that will take a while to filter through there. So I'm gonna put this out in our back room. So I'm gonna pop this over the top, which is to keep flies off of cakes and stuff. Because that's the warmest room in the house. It'll make things go that little bit quicker, but you can see. Already, things are starting. This is gonna be a several day process because we need to leave that for a day. And we've got to pass all this through yet, so I'm not sure where we're gonna where we're gonna keep it. What a nice problem to have. So this is day two of our honey extraction, and uh, we've got a whole setup going on here. These jars have just come out of the oven; they've been sterilised. This is the first lot of honey that that we've extracted from the comb from the wax. That's probably about a third of what we're getting. So it's just a phenomenal amount. Um, and in here is our wax. Now we've still got a bit of honey still trapped in there, not a lot. But what I'm doing is, as you saw yesterday, I'm, this is, the, this is the unseparated stuff. So I just crushed up the comb with a rolling pin. We're straining it through this colander with a cheesecloth in it. And that's been sat over this for about 24 hours. And we just, I kept adding to the, to the comb in the top. And the last lot I added was this morning. It's now three o'clock in the afternoon. So most of that's passed through now. So we're gonna bottle that, and then we're gonna put the colander back on top of there, add the next lot from down there. And then hopefully by the end of tomorrow, we'll be pretty much there. At which point we'll have a load of this. And then we're basically gonna do the whole thing again. I'm gonna mash it up even more, make sure that every single cell is broken and uh, just go again once more and we're gonna get maybe another jar or two, not a massive amount. And then down the road, we'll work out what we're gonna do with the wax because I haven't decided yet. And uh, we should have lots and lots of honey. I'm really, really excited, really excited. These are our first eight jars and I'm absolutely astounded by how much we're gonna get out of that one super, that one little box because that I think is around a third, I think, around a third. So the next lot is already in here. Collecting. And then we've still got all of this to pass through the cheesecloth. This is our second batch of jarring today. Just move on to the, the next batch. Set this up again. So I can almost get it all in, but not quite. It's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm just about to leave for work. But if I pop back at lunchtime, because I'm only working at the road, I'll be able to get all of this, the rest of this, in there, because this would have dropped down. That's our honey harvest. That's all of it. And this is what we've got. Now, we obviously don't have lots of one pound jars, pound in weight, I mean. These are about a pound, these guys. So that's a pound of honey. So we've got the equivalent here of about 20 pounds of honey from that one super. We're really, really thrilled. We're so happy. And I was, I won't lie, I was a little bit daunted and intimidated about extracting the honey. I thought it was going to be a little bit trickier than it was. We found it super simple. And some of the takeaways that my wife and I have are, it's a lot easier than you think. It's not as messy as you think. Well, it is messy, but it's quite easy to clean up. And we didn't have a problem with that. And from a personal point of view, one of the things I have loved most about this whole process is Jackie has really, really bought into it as well. And it was a real team effort. This very much felt like our project rather than just my project. So I really, really enjoyed that. Now I've still got all of the wax to process, which will be the subject of an upcoming video because I'm not sure how I'm doing that yet, but I will share that with you when I do. So there you go, there's our honey harvest. Thanks for watching guys. Before you go, do all those good things for me. Please make sure you press that like button, leave me a comment, and if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, cheers.